We're back after the break, but this was um, back on uh, last Wednesday. So we had finished uh, getting this left upper wing straight plug into putty and got it up on the machine. And here you can see this is Wednesday evening just before we left. Just starting out here with um, the uh, short um, three quarter inch mill of the flat end and just starting out on the flanges. So that was running on uh, Wednesday evening. And then I was back up uh, in the shop on Friday and just uh, switching the, the bits there and uh, running the extra paths that you'll see here shortly. So this is now on um, Friday and you see all that face cuts being run on most of the that um, first half of the plug. And see underneath there, that hasn't been run yet. So you can see there I've switched to uh, the three quarter inch ball mill there and it's just starting to run the transitions on the flange. And this is a little bit later on in the day on Friday and uh, got the three eighths of an inch ball, mit, ball mill on and uh, doing the uh, undercut there um, underneath the leading edge of the wing for the plug there. And the reason I have to use that one is because uh, I have to use the side of the ball mill and because you, there's no way you can get the flat mill under there. Um, so anyway, that takes a lot of passes because you've got to just have a really tight stepper over on there. But anyway, that all came out really well, and so most of that was uh, run on uh, Friday. And so this is late Friday afternoon now, and I've managed to get everything run on the first half and actually slid the plug down on the table there so we can mill the other half. Because remember, the table can only mill about 12 feet in total length, and this um, plug was 16 feet long. So here you can see, again, with the flat mill, and just uh, about to start out on the first uh, flange there for the second half and uh, so that basically let that run over uh, Friday evening and then came back on Monday morning to finish it off just with the uh, all that was left was a ball mill pass on these uh, little transitions on the ends there and everything came out really nice with that and here you can see this is the uh, middle of the day on Monday and it's all all being run so there's the last of the big wing skin plugs run and so everything starts to get smaller now so we've still got uh, winglets to do which was inner and outer left and right we've got um, the foreplane to do but lots more still to come but it's getting easier and so this is the frame for the um, mold for the main spar and we prepped the steel here in order to paint it so uh, it's not going to rust or anything like that and this is a little bit later, actually this was today, so uh, Jeff painted that um, Monday uh, afternoon. And so it's all set now, it just needs a little bit of time just to harden up um, before we can actually bolt the mold to that. But then the spar uh, will be ready to lay up, so that's exciting. And this is the first of the uh, wing strake uh, molds that was released from the plug. And you see a little dusty already. Um, but it actually came out really nice and so that just needs to be cleaned up and braced which you'll see that shortly so three more to go of those one more lower and two more uppers um, but anyway we're officially on to making molds for the wings now and this is the last of the door frames here so I put the bushings on there of where those braces were and put some carbon over those yesterday so um, that is getting very close to being able to lay up the door frame for that and hopefully it'll be this week and meanwhile, uh, Jeff went a little crazy yesterday and, uh, and primed, I think, seven different plugs. So this is the the one for the tank, and that's actually going to be the mold for that one. So that one, all it needs is a waxing now, and it's ready. And this one is for the, uh, that's the in, inner lip for the intake, the air intake. So that one got primed. And as you'll see here, the next one was, that's the closeout wall for the header tank so that's just a real simple one so that one got its second coat of primer on there and here's uh, one of the back walls for one of the um, straight tanks so that one got its I believe that's the first coat of primer on that one or maybe it's the second no that's, that was the second one and this is all the um, the plug for the tank ribs and that's the first coat of primer on that one so like I said, there's about seven different ones that got uh, sprayed in primer. And so here's the leading edge, or yeah, the door strake 
um, closeout and the front of the straight tank uh, closeout ribs there. So that was the first coat of uh, primer on that. And this is the other uh, rear um, wing tank um, back wall. So that was, I believe, the first... Yeah, that one I think was only the first coat of primer on there. And here's that uh, door frame. So that's this is today actually, and now so it's been basically separated again, and Jeff cleaned up all around the flanges and stuff there. So that one just needs to be bolted together now and waxed, and it's ready to lay up that uh, door frame. And there's the other half of it, but this now this time you're looking at the actual back side of the of the mold and not the front side. So a little bit dirty and dusty and stuff like that, but not to worry and I and pulled this one out because it had been kind of uh, rejected off to the side there because it needed some work and so I spent the day working on this one and getting it sanded so that one's ready for its next coat of primer and these ones now that you saw before uh, they have their guide coat sprayed on so ready for a little bit more sanding and likewise this one got a guide coat put on there so that one's uh, ready for its second round of sanding and we're not actually doing anything on the machine this week just trying to catch up on all the plugs and molds because we had quite a few piling up there so i'm out in the shop helping with that instead of uh, creating tool paths this week and the, there's the actual the first one of the back tank there zach actually was back in today and he basically sanded that one so that one's actually getting or got waxed already as well today and then this is the one for the uh, closeout wall for the header tank and that one's just getting sanded so that one will have be waxed next Here's the intake lip, so that one is uh, getting waxed already. So we've got a whole bunch of them now that are getting close to being uh, ready to pull molds off of. We just have to put the rubber profile on there. And this is the frames uh, that you might have seen a while back that hold the outer door, um, outer door frame molds together. And so again, prepping those ones so we can paint them so they're not going to rust. And that'll probably be tomorrow. They'll probably get painted. And uh, here Roberto and Chris are in, and um, Jeff was working with them to create a um, a brace and stand for that mold that you saw earlier that was released. So it's we just put it back on the plug to do that. And so they basically just cut and trimmed that foam, and um, they're in the process of glassing that now. So that'll be done. Anyway, so that's our update for the first half of this week. And uh, thanks again for watching.